Good morning guys, Adrian Unknown. This morning I'm out here on Cabayo Lake with somebody pretty famous here in town. Chris Flores, AKA Muddy River Catfishing. What's going on guys? We are here on his boat and he's gonna take us out and we're gonna catch some monster catfish. Come on, let's go. He's got all his signature rods here. Snake looking weight. So yeah, this is Caballo Lake State Reservoir. This is where the water gets held from Elephant Butte before it gets released into the Rio Grande, which turns into the Rio San later on. The water is really low as you can see guys. Yeah, usually it's up about maybe 10 or 15 feet up to at least the plants. But uh, since the water has been released, it's slowly going down. This will just keep getting worse until it just becomes a muddy hole. Let's go. What a beautiful day. There's no wind or anything. We're the only people out here. Well, that's not true, but out on the water anyway. Muddy River Catfishing. If you don't know, you're going to learn today. Look him up. He's got a bunch of videos on catching stuff. Huge native carps and catfish and bait fish and all that stuff. Right over here is there's supposed to be a cove. Do you know the name of this cove? No, but yeah, it's, it's right around that corner right there. Beautiful morning today. These mountains here, it's called Brushy Mountain. It's the one that overlooks this big lake. There's some antennas up there. And right at the base of it over there, there's some hidden treasures. Lots of mines full of fluorite and things like that. Did you get some good cut bait the other day? Oh, yeah. At the dam? Yeah. Yeah, my friend caught that, uh, the drum, and I caught a little tiny cat. Yeah. So this is your rig. You like to use a Santee Cooper? Uh, you know what? That's my dragging rig. But believe it or not, I use this one more. It's, it's like a high-low rig. Yeah. With, but with the float on it, so it keeps it off the bottom. Gotcha. And if there's nothing to get hung up on, I'll actually drag with this more than those now. Okay. Yeah. You don't do much bass fishing or anything like that? It's always cats? Cat fishing, bait fishing. Yeah. Has that always been from the start with you and da your dad too? No, I used to, I actually used to bass fish and all that when I was younger. And I think I ended up kind of getting bored of it. Like I, I realized that no matter how much more I fish, I'm only going to catch the same size bass, you know? Yeah. It's not, not going to be anything crazy bigger than what I've caught already and then I kind of started thinking well catfish get big so I started chasing catfish and that's always that's always fun because you don't know if it's going to be a one pound or a 50 pound fish. yeah what was your first big big fish that you would say the first one that really that really uh, got me hooked I'd say was I was at Caballo dam over here with my cousin and we had hopped that fence to get onto the to that little point yeah yeah two. where it sucks the water in yeah so we had walked out there i was probably about it i don't know 18 maybe yeah about 18 i think and we were out there fishing with regular bait you know worms or whatever and we had run out of bait but i didn't want to go back yet you know so I was looking around to see what I could use for bait. And I remember seeing these little sh little shad swim, but I didn't even know they were shad at the time. That's how I'd experienced Those they gizzard were, shad? They were little thread fins. Oh, know, okay, yeah. Probably about two inches long. And so I was trying to figure out how to catch them. Well, I, had, I had a mesh hat on. So I noticed that they would follow like a pattern back and forth. So well, if I sit right in that pattern, Maybe they'll swim across. So I sunk my hat down upside down and I just sat there real still. And 
and they come up and they just go back and they come back and they go back and then they finally got in brave enough to swim across and I scooped up like five or six of them and I put I put like three on the hook and I threw it out and I didn't think nothing of it I just set my rod down on a rock like that and next thing you know man my rod hits and it goes sliding across the rock 